Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. You want to study in China for the bachelor program in 2026. There will be a mandatory exam you need to know about. In our today's video, we are going to dive into one of the most upcoming changes in Chinese universities admissions. The name of the exam is China Scholastic Competency Assessment or CSCA. We will discuss what is it, why it matters, who must take it, how it works, registration, exam date and how you can prepare. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, what is CSCA? Why does it matter? It is a standardized test developed by the China Scholarship Council to assess academic readiness, mainly for international students applying for undergraduate program in China. Think of it as a China's version of SAT, but specially designed for students planning to study there. Its main goal is to evaluate your academic abilities and Chinese language proficiency to make sure you are well prepared for university level studies in China. Who must take CSC exam and when? The exam become mandatory for international undergraduate applicants to Chinese universities from the 2026 intake. Even if you are self-funded, many universities will look at your CSCA score favorably. If you plan to enroll in a Chinese undergraduate program in 2026, you should plan for exam from now. Missing the exam could delay your application cycle. Let's know the structure and the subject of the exam. There are two main categories of subjects. Number one, professional Chinese, which is divided into humanities and STEM. Number two, fundamental subjects, which include mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Each subject has a specific test language, duration, number of question, and a score range. The humanities and STEM test under professional Chinese are given in Chinese. Last for 90 minutes and include 80 multiple choice questions, a score from 0 to 100. The fundamental subjects, math, physics and chemistry can be taken in either Chinese or English, depending on the university's requirement. Each last 60 minutes with 84 multiple choice questions also scored from 0 to 100. Let's take a look of the official website and we will try to explain them briefly. In the home page tab, you can find a registration and exam dates. The first global CSCA test will be launched on December 21st, 2025. Registration open in November. 2025. Starting in 2026, CSCA will be held on a regular basis five times a year in January, March, April, June, and December. Just scroll down a bit and you will find the test resources, including study guides, test materials, and practice tests. From the study guides, you can download the syllabus for fundamental and professional Chinese. Since the program starts in November, the materials are not available yet, but they will be released once it begins. We have already talked about the CSCA exam. So now let's take a look at the registration process. You can take the exam in three different formats, computer-based, paper-based, and home-based. If you click on computer-based, you will find an overview of the exam rules, registration details, and lots of other useful information. Make sure to read through those carefully. 
Similarly, for paper-based and home-based exam, just click the corresponding button to read the specific information. Point to be noted that at first, this exam will mainly be offered in remote home-based online format. But both computer-based and paper-based will gradually be established in major countries and regions. Then click on my registration as you can see here. At first, create an account and log in. Then you can see registration for CSCA exam on 21st December 2025 will open in November. Please stay tuned to the official CSCA website for updates. You have to follow three steps for registration. When the registration starts, we will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to register and show you in the video how you can do this registration. Now let's talk about the most important part, score and result section. Each subject is scored on 100 point scale. The results are used by universities as a reference when setting their own admission standard which can vary depending on the program. Universities can also see each applicant's percentile ranking among all global test takers, helping them better understand of a student's academic standard within the international applicant pool. A score release time depends on the test format. Online and on-site computer-based test results are usually available within seven working days. While paper-based test results take up to 14 working days. Now let's see how much it cost for the exam. 450 RMB for one subject, 700 RMB for two or more subjects. In our today's video, we have given an overview of this exam. If you are planning to study in China for your bachelor program, you have to take this exam. In our video description box, we also provide the official website. Make sure you check on daily basis and get updated. That's all about today's video. Till then, stay with us and take care.